<laughs> Maybe you want your fucking four seven of diamond. Eighty. Hey, you You're pushing. Okay. Don't fucking knock it over, Kenny. I'm telling you. Careful. Let me. Let me Our friendship's over. on the line, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know you put your cards in here. Yeah. So we have a raise to eighty from Aldar with seven six offsuit. Wait, let him play his hand now. Is that a hand? Joe calls the cut off, and it looks like Ken calls from the small blind. When Ace Jack calls from the small blind, those are the type of hands that I'm expecting to call from the small blind. From the small blind, when they call, I'm assuming it's a lot of like Ace Jack time hands, Ace Ten, King now Queen. This is going to be interesting. Yes. This is what I like to say when the chips will start just piling in. So Ken flops top two. It's kosher. Alfwell with bottom set. And Bearju's probably going to lose one street floating one with a 7-6. Bet's 190. And I would assume Joel, since they're deep, is going to probably almost 4x it. What I mean by that, he's going to 4x the 190. I would assume he's going to make it like 750-ish. Once the Bearju calls, he might even go a little bit bigger than that since the flush draw is there, the straight draw is there. Why? Yeah, and you don't want to, you know, with bottom set, you don't want to be in with uh, a, a, a third player. I mean, anytime you are you have a set, you kind of want to just start piling as much money as you can, especially on that big of a draw-heavy board. Mm -hmm. Flopping bottom set or middle set anytime there's an ace high on the board is just great because you know that most players' ranges consist of aces in it. And um, it's hard to full top pair. 790. 790. 790. Now and later. I used to have this in junior high school. We used to ditch and go to junior. Uh, How much do you start? Junior. 10 likes his two pair and who doesn't oh of course and it's not only two pair it's top, top two, two pair yeah. and he probably feels a little under rep since you just called from the small blind mm -hmm. and if you're ken there's only a few hands that beat you there's three combos of pocket sevens one combo of aces and one combo of jacks so you're only losing to about five combos and ken rips an all in here joel's gonna snap call chips are piling in there i said again and then they have no choice back up the cooler. truck yep There goes first board to Joel. And second board goes to Joel. Joel wins both. Great start of the night for Al Huel. Long time regular live at the bike. Used to be a prop here at the bicycle. Joel is definitely a shark and he's running very well. Shout out to DK Barrel. Sly Cry, what up? Run it once, what's up? Jeff1202, how are you guys? Thank you for tuning in. Joel just doubles up. Pocket sevens versus... Top two. Coolers can. <laughs> you don't see it, right? No, I mean, no.